What is up everybody and happy Friday. This is Searching for Hits with Eric and I am Eric. And today we're gonna do a little mail day. Uh, I got a uh, couple of mystery packs in here from a seller on eBay called DJD Cards. Um, they piqued my interest, they guarantee hits, and they were really inexpensive. So there was also a sale, and uh, these mystery packs are uh, $13.99 a piece, and they give you uh, a bunch of cards, as well as some hits. So we're gonna unpack this and see what we got. Um, these are the uh, the packs. This is actually hits, 457, 457. So that's gonna be one mystery pack with the hits. This is going to be the other mystery pack with the hits. And we got some bonus hits. So let's rip on into this, see what we can find. Cost on this is only $13.99 normally uh, per mystery pack. If you're interested, search up DJD hits. So, or DJD cards, excuse me. So let's crack on into this and see what we can find. Hope you're having a great Friday. Hope every, uh, you're having a good, or looking forward to a nice weekend. Um, this mystery pack piqued my interest because they span a number of decades, modern all the way back to the 80s, um, even older. They guarantee you hits. They guarantee you uh, at least five per mystery pack. And that could be a, a numbered card, an autograph, a relic, um, a star rookie, they say. So... Let's see, let me know what you think, and uh, if you feel like it's worthwhile. Um, I'm hoping to get my value back and more. Um, if you haven't subscribed also, please go ahead and do so. Love to have you along for more videos, and make sure that you like the video. So here we go, we got a Troy Tulowitzki on top. That is actually his third year card from Upper Deck, 09. Troy Tulowitzki, his career kind of got derailed a bit. Uh, Ryan Langerhans, there's a Donruss 87, so we do have a bunch of relatively commons, um, which is not fun. There's a top prospects card from Upper Deck to, of uh, Mike Bovey, I do not remember him. Um, a global impact card from Upper Deck of Andrew Jones, that's a pretty cool card. We got a Gold Foil League Leaders card from O2 Tops. Got a Hall of Famer, a soon-to-be Hall of Famer, and a never-will-be Hall of Famer in Rafael Palmero. Um, pretty cool-looking card. O2 Tops. Let me just slide that back a little bit. Uh, we got a Pinnacle Checklist with Frank Thomas on top. Love the big hurt. Maglio Ordonez. Uh, Chuck Knobloch from Absolute. Looks like it's a red foil parallel. Uh, Mickey Morandini. We got a Prospects card of Alex Cabrera from Triple Crown. Delino DeShields, Leaf Rookie Stars. We got a Bernard Gilkey. When he was at the Mets, Donruss Preferred from 97. Uh, Matt Clement. We have uh, Gary Sheffield, who some think should be in the hall. Uh, Kurt Schilling, minor league card of Kurt Schilling. That's interesting, we'll take that. And uh, I actually did not come prepared. Let me grab some sleeves. Normally I have some top loaders and some sleeves standing by, which I do now, but let's take a look at this Kurt Schilling card. That's pretty interesting. Kurt Schilling, some feel should be in the Hall of Fame. Um, I think he's got, got the numbers, um, but this is a uh, an International League Rochester Red Wings card of Kurt Schilling from 1990. Um, very cool stuff. We'll call that our first hit out of here for sure. Let's see what else we got. Alex Gonzalez. We got a Rich Amaral from Studio. Rich Amaral. McMichael. Troy Percival. Roger Cedeno from Fleer Platinum. 
There's a Rick Cerrone gold card from Tops. That's not a $1.50 card. I don't know why that is on there. Um, we have a Revolution card. I'm not familiar with this. Of Jay Buhner. Pretty cool looking card. Looks like a 2000 Revolution. Um, again, not familiar with that. Must have been a one and done Ricky Lede from Fleer Platinum. Jose Canseco in his Red Sox uni. Uh, Hisashi Iwakuma. There's a classic of Bo Jackson. That's going to be from 89. So an 89 classic Bo Jackson card. That's pretty cool. Big fan of Bo back in the day. And these cards are all in relatively good shape, which is nice to see. Let's finish out this first team bag. Kruger, we got a Kenny Lofton from Stadium Club. AJ Burnett, his third year, and Bill Pakota. So got a few nice cards from that first team bag. Uh, pretty stoked about that, uh, that shilling card. I don't have that in my PC. I don't even know if I've seen that card. So let's see the other two team bags in mystery car box number one or mystery pack number one and then we'll look at the hits from that one um triple play diamond baseball 101 uh let's kind of go through some of these some of these commons relatively quickly there's a uh, joe carter from pinnacle joe carter of course world series hero for the blue jays uh willie tavares got don slot from flair Always loved the flare cards. Um, really cool design, had that premium feel, just so mass produced, not a lot of value to them. Uh, we have an Austin Kearns from Flair. So uh, that's gonna be Austin Kearns' rookie. Uh, decent player, had a decent career, not, uh, not a big time hit. Um, Larry Walker, Hall of Famer from 03 Leaf. Brian Jordan, a two-way player, played football and baseball professionally. We got a Larry Sutton, don't remember him. Uh, Al Martin from Metal Universe, pretty cool. Uh, Sasaki from Vintage. Let's see, Trevor Hoffman from O2 Tops. Trevor Hoffman, the great reliever. Uh, we have a going north of Johnny Mize. Mark Davis, Randy Wolf from Metal. Uh, there's a Doug DeCensus from OPG, the Canadian version of Tops. Uh, Grover Alexander from 81. Uh, there's another Conseco. Manny Ramirez victory card from 03. Nothing too crazy there. Phillies, men up in the middle. Utley and Rollins, the dynamic two that uh, that ruled the middle infield for the Phillies. Saw them many a time against the Mets. Uh, Adam Dunn, that's Adam Dunn's rookie card from Tops 01. There's his minor league stats. Adam Dunn, I believe his nickname was... The donkey, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there is a rookie of Nefi Perez. Had a decent career. Josh Phillips. Edgar Renteria. Marty Cordova. Traxel. Valentin and Rich Dower. Finish off that pack. And the third and final pack from the first of two. Mystery packs from... DJB cards. Let's see. Mike Lavalier, Brady Anderson, who had that 150 home run year. Uh, classic Gold 93 of Jaime Brewington. Do not remember Jaime Brewington. Uh, Mike Greenwell was a hot name in the Hobby for a little while, uh, Pacific Paramount of David Bell. Freddie Sanchez had a 
bunch of nice years, led the league in hitting one year, possibly two. Um, there's a Soriano from Leaf, Nomar Garcia Para, so getting some names. Eisenreich, Scott Down, Sergio Romo, uh, Dimitri Young from Vintage, uh, Charles Johnson, who had a few good years, Terry Francona, went on to be a really good manager. That's his tops traded card from 86. Teddy Higuera. Uh, there's Maglio Ordonez from 02 Donruss. Todd Hundley, nice power hitting catcher for the Mets. Spike Owen, uh, Jermaine Dye with a Fleer Authentic card, kind of funny feel to it. Uh, Kevin Young, Private Stock from Pacific. Uh, Edgar Martinez, that is from Leaf. Kirby Puckett, that's a Hall of Famer from 96 Tribute. Eric Davis had a very nice career. Pudge Rodriguez, Yvonne Rodriguez, Hall of Famer. Bip Roberts, another Conseco, that time in his Rays Uni. Uh, Dave Hollins, Howard Hall, and Jimmy Jones. So, got a few interesting cards. Uh, I like that shilling a lot. Let's see what the hits are or mystery pack number one. Keep in mind, cost is only like 13 bucks for the pack. Uh, so, some good stuff in here for, for 13 bucks, at least in my opinion, especially if we can come away with a decent hit or two. So here is our first hits pack. See the Kendry Morales gold on the back out of 2014. So here we go. Let's see what the hits are. First one up is going to be a Tyler O'Neill, 83 style design. Um, and that's going to be a Prism version, which is pretty cool. Tyler O'Neill from 2018 tops. Cool looking card. Uh, we got an AJ Puck rookie. We got a Nolan Fontana. Triple Relic from 2010 tops. So Nolan Fontana, don't recall his name. He came out of U of Florida, it looks like, but there's a Triple Relic of Nolan Fontana. Uh, we got an Evan White rookie up from Absolute and a Kendry Morales gold out of 2014. So those are our hits. Hmm, not too exciting, but not bad either. So let's see what our second one is. Um, did I get my value back? Yeah, I'd argue and say that that was, a, that was certainly worthwhile. Um, let's see if the second one is even better. There's our hits, and there's our bonus hits for uh, buying two, I guess. And here we go with the second one. Hope everyone's having a great Friday. Make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, there's some eye blacks. That's interesting from Triple Play. So if you're going to go out and play, you can put some Cabrera eye blacks on. Uh, Pedro Martinez, not the Pedro Martinez, but a different one. Homer Bush. Uh, headlines of Caminiti. Let's see, a Rubio Durazo. There's a Tom Glavin Hall of Famer from 01 Upper Deck. I like that card, I like Tom Glavin a lot. Kevin Jordan, Justin Thompson, minor league card actually. No, not a minor league card. The brand is Thunder, that's interesting. Don't remember those cards either. Uh, Matt Morris, 84. Four style design from 02. Interesting Donruss throwback originals parallel of Matt Morris. Uh, there's Daryl Kyle, Quentin McCracken from Aurora, 
And a Keith Hernandez. I like that a lot. Keith Hernandez from 81 Tops. Love Keith, one of my favorite Mets of all time. A little off center, corners are a little rounded, but it is an 81 Keith Hernandez, which I do like. Eduardo Perez, Steve Bouchel. We got a Wally Joyner, looking strange in a San Diego Uni. Uh, Ray Langford from Metal. Mike Williams, who had one or two decent years. Uh, Jim Rice from Fleer. Nice long career for Jim Rice, Hall of Famer. Followed by uh, Helton, who I think will be a Hall of Famer someday. This is towards the middle of his career, back in 0 two, so this is an 03 uh, absolute. Actually, this is a Fleer Authentic, excuse me. It looks like the Panini Absolute. Uh, Tim Hudson on a roll card from Upper Deck. There's Robbie Alomar, Hall of Famer. That's actually a Topps Lineage card from 11. Uh, rookie class card of Matt Anderson. Luis Lopez, there's Rock Reigns, Hall of Famer right there, Dovey Cruz, and Brett Boone, coming attractions card. So that's pretty cool. We'll put that in our cool pile. Okay, let's get these back in the team bag. That's number one of three from the second mystery pack. Not too bad, got a couple of interesting cards out of there. And again, we do have those hits at the end. Okay, pack number two. Not sure how many of them they made. This is number 559. The other ones were 457, I believe, or something like that. Got a Kirby Puckett 86 on the back in pretty nice shape. That's a nice card. Let's put that in a, uh, in a sleeve. Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett. Second year card. 86 is always tough to to find in good shape because of the black border. There's Javier Vasquez, Trevor Hoffman, Bud Black, Keith Mitchell, top prospects card, Michael Barrett, uh, Allen and Ginter, Vecito, Dan Vecito, don't remember him. There's Neil Walker, know him. Uh, Scott Rowland, tops Chrome, Scott Rowland's got a pretty good shot of getting in the hall someday. Parrot, uh, Mike Cameron, son Daz Cameron making a splash now. We got a vintage rookies of Tim Raines Jr. and Sean Douglas. So Tim Raines Jr. rookie card from Topps Vintage. Uh, there's a Metal Universe Traxel, Lance Nix. <clears throat> from Cracker Jack, Ruben Sierra from Topps Kids. Got a wide variety of stuff in here. Uh, there's Brett Boone sliding in, looking like he's avoiding a tag at home. Travis Fryman from Fleer Platinum. Fred McGriff, who I think should have gotten more consideration for the, for the Hall of Fame. Uh, there's an award winner card of Hideo Nomo. Rookie of the Year in 95. So this is uh, this is actually commemorating a bunch of Rookie of the Years because this is actually from 2002 Rookies and Stars. Uh, but pretty cool. Ray Durham, Jeff Kent when he was back with the Mets. This is actually Jeff Kent's Donruss rookie card. I think he should get some consideration for the Hall. James Paxton, Dan Wilson, Brad Baker. From Bowman Chrome back in 02. Uh, Eli Marrero, Todd Hudley, Bip Roberts, and Gabe Alvarez finishes off this team bag. One more team bag, and then we get to the hits to end out the video. Hope you're enjoying. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Again, these were, uh, I paid. 25 all in with shipping and everything because they were having a special. Um, so for 25, depending on those hits, this is uh, definitely a good deal. Uh, we have a Fleer Patchworks card of Kerry Wood from 03. 
Uh, Carrie Wood had a nice long career. Gary Lavelle. Marquise Grissom, speedster from the 90s. There's a classic best gold of Cedar, uh, Cedar Rapids. Um, John Hrofsky. Tommy Lasorda, all-star manager. Coco Crisp. Played for quite a while. Speedster. Uh, Jose Oliva from Flair. Barry Zito from Flair. Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer from, o, uh, from 93 tops. Rest in peace, Tony Gwynn. Uh, Pinnacle Doc Gooden looks strange as can be in that Indians uni. Uh, let's see, Ricardo Rincon. Fleer Tradition Traded Card. Uh, Aramis Ramirez from Prestige. Playoff Prestige. Pretty early in his career, third year there. Uh, we got a black diamond of Jeff Cirillo, Dwight Evans, Kevin Millwood, Brian McRae from Stadium Club, uh, Bob Horner, Pat Henkin from, uh, what is that, Skybox when they did baseball for a couple of years, Joe Oliver, Jeff Reardon. We got a Mo Vaughn from Authentic, Mo Vaughn. Uh, there's a Studio 01 of David Justice. David Justice when he uh, came over to the Yankees. Uh, Craig Biggio from Allen and Ginter. Kind of a funny looking picture of Biggio. Um, Hall of Famer, Craig Biggio. Nice card. There's a, an Ozzie Smith. Looks like it's from a game of some sort from Upper Deck. Uh, Mike Mussina. Fifth year card, Johnny Damon, from when he started in the Royals organization. That's going to be Johnny Damon's. Um, actually, it's his third year. I thought it was his. It was earlier. Uh, classic best, Bob Walcott. And to finish this off, there's Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer, Warren Morris, Al Leiter, pitching for the Mets. Loved him. And Juan Gon and David Justice, '93 All Stars finishes off this team bag so some interesting cards some interesting stuff let me know if i've missed anything that was uh wildly interesting and blew by it by accident but um yeah not not bad at all uh, what i would expect maybe a little bit better than I would, what i would expect from a price tag that uh this has so let's get into our hits we do have bonus hits and these are the hits from this pack open this up here we have some sort of a numbered card on the back of Andrew Jones all right first hit is going to be a Chance Adams Bowman tradition is that what is this from 2018 Chance Adams pretty cool uh, we have a Jake Cave rookie card from gallery last year, I believe. Yep, that's, 20, no, that's 2019 gallery. We have a autograph of Greg Miller from 2002 Select Rookies and Prospects. Greg Miller, don't recall Greg Miller, but it is an auto and it is stamped authentic from Panini, so. That's, uh, actually, is this score select? Yes. Um, we do have a vintage card of Lou Krause from 1968 tops. Uh, pretty good shape, little off center top to bottom, but um, not too bad. And here is that numbered card from Upper Deck SP of Andrew Jones, number out of 4,500. So uh, short print basically is what that works out to do, to be. So that's pretty cool. And we do have this bonus hit here. Let's see what we have. Thank you to the seller for throwing in a bonus. Always love getting bonus hits. Looks like there's two hits in here. Top one is going to be uh, Albert Pujols from Stadium Club. 
Yeah, Stadium Club this year, 2021 Pujols. Just a base card. Don't say anything crazy about it, but it is probably, well, it is his last card in an Angels Uni. And a Yogi Berra, 81 Donruss manager card. Lawrence Peter Berra. Yogi Berra. The man with a million quotes. So that does it for this video. Um, pretty pleased. I mean, 25 bucks all in. I think I got my money's worth, but you let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, this is Searching for Hits with Eric. And uh, next video will most likely be a hockey video where we'll have uh, Joe, my cousin from Card Flippers actually, coming on in and sponsoring the video. So that'll be fun. We will see you next time.